Welcome to the nature class. I'm your host, Miss Mallory, the curious conservationist. And today we are doing the activity portion of the cave intro. So if you haven't already, make sure after this, you head over and watch how cave formations are formed. So you know the very cool process that's behind this activity. What we need for this activity is two jars full of hot water. It needs to be hot because we need to make sure we dissolve the baking soda. You also need a spoon to stir. You'll need either an old t-shirt or cotton string. I'm thinking even paper towels can work too. I've, I've seen it done with paper towels. You just wanna make sure whatever you're using is long enough to reach the bottom of one, droop down between the two, and then sit at the bottom of the other one. And you're gonna also want some kind of weights for the end to make sure they stay on the bottom. And then optional, I always think it's really fun to add color. You're gonna want some food coloring. So in your two jars of warm water, go ahead and add about half a cup of baking soda to each one. And what this is kind of representing is all the dissolved minerals. Whoa! Be careful of that. Do a little more. No, 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 no. So this, like I said, is representing all the dissolved minerals from the rocks. As the groundwater is seeping through, it's slightly acidic. And so it will start dissolving all the minerals in the rocks as it percolates through the ground. This can also be done with Epsom salt. I personally don't like the results with Epsom salt. The structures that are made like the stalactites are really really flimsy so they're very cool looking you'll get what you'll get the really tight like skinny stalactites and it looks really cool but it's you if you barely move it you're you're done that thing is gonna fall so the baking soda structures are a little bit more stable so you go stir it and you want enough baking soda in the water to be completely dissolved and still have a little bit left at the bottom. So if you have a bigger glass, you may need to add a little more. That sounds pretty awesome. Okay, so we're gonna add our food dye. Again, this is just for color. It's not for anything special. It's not a must. So as the groundwater reaches the opening, the top of the cave, the ceiling, is exposed to air. And as that air evaporates the water, the minerals are left behind to start forming these structures. So next you're going to take, basically we're creating our cave ceiling. And you're gonna wanna put something kind of heavy at the bottom. So you can do, let's see what would be good. You can do paper clips at the bottom. You can do a rubber band attached to a penny. There's, you know, be creative. But this is what I had lying around. And then you're going to drop it in all the way to the bottom. And that water is going to seep through that material. And then you're going to place it in a window frame or just somewhere that's out of the way, but you can still watch it. And you're going to place a little cup plate lid underneath to catch the falling water. So as the water percolates or as the water seeps into the cloth, as it's going through the rocks <laughs> underground, it's going to finally reach the middle and that's going to be the surface or the ceiling of your cave. And what's going to happen is it's going to start dropping water. But pretty soon, that water's gonna evaporate and it's gonna start building a foundation on the bottom. So the minerals, what forms stalactites, you know, they hold tight to the ceiling, are gonna be what's on top. And some of that water, though, is gonna be dropping that's still going to contain some of those minerals. And as they rest on the bottom, that water evaporates and it's gonna leave the minerals on the bottom that are slowly gonna stack on top of each other, creating stalagmites. So stalagmites are mighty on the ground, stalactites hold tight onto the ceiling. 
And that is your cave formation experiment. What will you see in about a week? Hopefully, if everything goes right on your experiment and you have enough baking soda in your water, you're going to create your own speleothems, which are cave formations. And this is kind of early stage. This is what we call cave popcorn. So it's really cool textured. It's all around. And over another week or so, as I keep adding more baking soda water and it's dissolving, it's kind of adding on to each other, you're gonna start seeing the stalactites start forming. So as the water's coming down, it's starting to evaporate and it's going to start leaving all those mineral deposits into that really cool stalactite formation. And on the bottom, as the water is evaporating, it's gonna start creating that stalagmite formation. And pretty soon, you're going to form a column. That's when the stalactite and the stalagmite connect. So it just depends on how long you wanna do this experiment. It's all up to you. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for nature class and figuring out how these wonderful cave formations are formed. If you like this, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more of these demonstrations. Until next time, this is Miss Mallory inviting you to step outside and adventure.